Hello, this is Father Frank Schuster, pastor of Blessed Teresa Calcutta in Woodenville. Here is the question I've been asked to answer. He descended into hell in the Apostles' Creed. What is its source and what is its importance? Thank you for the question. As you probably already know, the Apostles' Creed is an early church summary of what we profess, teach, and believe. The piece you picked of Jesus descending into hell can be found explicitly in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 through 20. In fact, many early icons of the crucifixion show a skull underneath the cross, representing Adam and all the souls who have been separated from God through the power of sin and death, whom Jesus was called to save through his passion, death, and resurrection. You can also see this prefigured in Psalm 139, where the psalmist exclaims, Where can I hide from your love, O Lord? If I run to the mountains, you are there. If I run to the ocean, you are there. If I fall to Sheol itself, the land of the dead, you are there, O God. You know, I'm often moved by Jesus' words on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? If you want a good definition of hell, I'm with theologian Hans Urs von Balthasar that hell is best defined as the furthest limits of God forsakenness. What this means for me is that although Jesus was without sin and did not merit death, out of love for us, he traveled to the furthest limits of God forsakenness for us. God wills all to be saved and come to knowledge of the truth. Because we're made in his image and likeness and wounded by sin, the only people who can confound the divine will are you or me. And so we can ask ourselves, what areas of my life are directed towards heaven? What areas of my life are directed towards hell? The invitation is to order our lives according to the gospel and accept the embrace of Jesus who loves you with an infinite love and would go to hell and back for you. I hope this helps answer your question. For further insights, the Catechism of the Catholic Church has a wonderful treatment of this beginning at 631 and following. Also check out the Office of Readings for Holy Saturday. And for extra credit, try reading Hansers von Balthasar's great book, Mysterium Pascale. Keep the questions coming. Until next time, may God bless you in every way.